Puddins, how are you? I'm so glad you're here. I need to see myself. So, we are making stuffed peppers today. Are you excited? I hope you are. So, stuffed peppers are hands down like one of my favorite go-to meals when I'm, I feel like I need comfort food or I'm trying to eat a little semi-healthy, you know how that goes. Um, and the twist today is that we're using all vegetables. Hold that thought. <laughs> all right, timer's going off. So, um, who's with us today? Let me see. Good afternoon, Gwen. Hey, Gwen. Hey, cousin Gwen. Um, good afternoon. Good morning, Loopy. All right. So this is, like I said, it's a twist because we're using all vegetables. However, you can use the same exact recipe and just put meat in it. So it's very versatile. Like if you, you know, you're like, hey. I need my protein and I want to add some uh, some beef in mine, do it, okay? Same exact recipe, just replace the veggie stuff for the meat. Good morning, Denise. Good afternoon. Happy Sunday. Yay. All right. So stuffed peppers. A couple of things before we start. I think that um, one of the most, I don't know, it's not like a common, you know, like a number one complaint. But some people have an issue with the um, the peppers not being like even because you know how when you buy them in the store when you have them at the when you um, line them up some of them are like toppling over in the pan and all that stuff right so you can take a little bit off the bottom to help make it flat okay so just take a little bit off the bottom but don't don't cut the actual you know be careful because this this technique requires a little bit of a little patience and skill, okay? Um, and you'll get it nice and stable so they're all nice and flat. Another way is that you can slice it, instead of slicing off the top and gutting it out, you can slice it this way so it looks like a boat, all right? And that way you don't have to worry about um, the pepper leaning over. So how many of you actually make this meal? I'm wondering, put it in the comments if you've ever made stuffed peppers, all right? And if you haven't, Put it in the comments why you have it. You know, have you? I know you've heard of it. All right. So make sure you're hitting the share button on this video. Make sure you're subscribing to YouTube if you're following us on our YouTube community. Um, and for a friend to join our group and like our page on FB. All right. So here we go. The ingredients that you will need. First of all, I'm going to show you my veggie crumblers. All right. So the veggie crumblers, I use these, but you can use whatever you want. And you know what else is good? I've done this with a mix of this and uh, chorizo. All right, so they do have chorizo crumbles, or you can use the actual sausage. It's, it's slim. All right, and then I told you about my Beyond Meat. So I already have my crumbles out, but remember those Beyond Meat sausage patties I told you about um, last time? So this one is the the spicy one, but they do have the non-spicy. My family likes a little kick, all right? Put it in the comments if your family likes a little spiciness, okay? All right, so I got about a pound of that, all right? So like I said, you can mix it up. I did, just so you can see my plate here, I did, um, let me see, okay. I did a little mix, right? So I got my crumbles and then I have the sausage. And it doesn't matter, because when you put it in the pan, everything's gonna just come together anyway. It really disintegrates kind of fast, all right? So, I'm going to, you know what, hold on, I'm looking for my, my little olive oil. One second. Coming back, people, coming back. All right, so we're gonna get our pan going. So you start up with about three tablespoons of olive oil, but you know, you eye it. Okay, need about two medium onions. All right, and we're this is gonna make about six peppers, all right? Six large peppers. All 
All right, so I'm heating this up. I want to show you some, though, because remember last week when I made my Beyond the Skillet um, veggie pizza, okay? And I was trying to eat it, and I was like, I was having that problem where, like, you know, it was so hot I couldn't even bite it. All right, so I made some of these in advance. I'm going to show you. You know what? I was going to show you finished product ahead of time, but oh, no, no. I'm just going to be like the great reveal. But I did make some, and they're so good. They're so flavorful. That's the best part. That's the best part. So what are you making this Sunday? All right, you know it's Sunday, and y'all love to cook. I'm telling you. And I love that y'all love to cook. That's, that's the best part. And the good thing about this is that if you make it today, you know, it's quick. It's easy. So if you're looking for a Sunday meal, this is perfect. Ooh, all right. I smell that oil going. Got my skillet nice and hot. Ooh, yes. All right. So first thing, two medium onions. All right. Get that sizzling because I do. All right. Get it all out there. All out there. I tell you, look at all my stuff. You know, my husband did the, uh, he washed the dishes earlier, so I'll never know what half my stuff is. All right, I found it. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to let these onions cook down a little bit, and you'll see how fast this goes, right? It goes so fast because it's all vegetables. So, like, if you're using a meat, um, you can cook the meat or you can make the crumble separate, but I normally just put it all in a pan. I'm going to put it out there. All right, so I'm going to let my onions cook about, you know, about five minutes so they become translucent. Okay. It just smells so good in here, Lord. All right. Hold on, let me check here. Ooh, yes, Luffy. You making Salisbury steak for dinner? Mm, mm, mm. All right, what are you making on the side? Mashed potatoes? Because you know, it's nothing like a mashed potato with some gravy. Oh, yes, yes. So good. Or even the gravy with the rice over it. You know what I made yesterday? It's not Salisbury steak, but I made um some grilled chicken thighs with Mushroom gravy. Have you had mushroom gravy? Oh my gosh. So good. So good. Anything with gravy works. Anything. So good. What else? Yeah. Let me see who else is joining us today. Hey, Karen, how are you? All right. Loopy said mashed potatoes and mixed green beans. Yes, yes. I knew it. Loopy, I knew that you were going to make mashed potatoes because we think alike. Seriously. We do when it comes to food. Sometimes I'm like, mm, I want some pork. And then boom, Loopy posts the pork in the, in the stream. Uh, for the Facebook page. So I'm just like telling you. Luffy. See, and then she has this new air fryer. Luffy, I'm watching, girl. I see you. All right. And I love it. I love it. And the air fryer, you know, so funny. I have the air fryer. I think I made, I tried some fried chicken one time. And I, I just gave up. But I need to go revisit it because it is healthier. It is. All right, so this is cooking. Now I'm gonna add my three tablespoons, three, no, two, two teaspoons of thyme. I'm gonna sprinkle that on in there. All right, and then I'm gonna add my four cloves of garlic. All right. So if you're not, you're gonna um, chop them up but if I use minced, okay, so if you're doing four cloves of garlic, that's about a tablespoon of, of um, minced garlic, okay? I'm 
Oh my gosh, just those three flavors, the onions, the garlic, the thyme. Yes, it smells so good in this kitchen. Woo! All right, so now everything's coming together. Okay, now I'm gonna add my crumbles, all right? So I'm gonna just throw them on in there. And don't worry, you don't have to go, you know, if it makes you feel better, you could take the sausage, put them around and chop it up, you know, like so. And then throw it in there. But honestly, the moment they hit this heat, they start to, you know, pull apart anyway. So I just I'll just take my um my little wooden spoon and just beat them up in the pan. And it does the same thing, it has the same effect, okay? And it helps if you got a little tension, a little stress that you have for the week. Chop it on up. <laughs> oh, look at this. But it smells amazing in here. And these Beyond Meat sausage, I'm telling you, I love it. I love them. They're like my favorite go-to. Because I have not given up meat. Just want to put it out there. I'm just trying to stay away for a little bit. Um, you know, and I'll come back to it. But it's a really good substitute. A really good substitute for me. All right. Getting it in here. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Now, the rice, while this is coming together here, the rice, I did long grain rice. Okay. And so for the long grain rice, you don't have to use um you can use white rice, you know, it's whatever you want, basmati rice. Um, but the long grain for me, I just like the flavors. You know, it's Uncle Ben's. I didn't do like some special long grain, you know. It's just Uncle Ben's, it has a little seasoning packet, so it gives it that extra added flavor. And you just need about two cups of the rice, okay? Remember, we're making our stuffing. We are making our stuffing. Right. Then you're gonna add the tomatoes, all right? So these are about four cored plum tomatoes, all right? So good. Oh my goodness, the smells in this kitchen today, yes. All right. And you know this is going to brown in the oven and cook a little longer. So it's all vegetables. Now the meat, if you're doing meat, you probably do have to put this in the oven. Oh, set your oven for 425, okay? So you're going to put it in the oven for 425 for about, about my oven cooks fast. So I put it in the directions about 12 minutes, but sometimes it's 10 minutes. So you just got to gotta check it out. Then you're gonna add um, two tablespoons of tomato paste. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. Smells amazing. All right. Then I'm gonna add a cup of. This is going to be. Um, I have beef stock that I'm using, but you can use chicken, you can use vegetable stock, it's whatever floats your boat, all right? So you're gonna add about a cup of that. It's all coming together, yes, yes, yes. All right, and then you're gonna add your white wine. Oh Lord, can I can I take the top off? I have been going to Pilates, you know. Come on, come on, honey, you can do it. Oh my Lord. I don't know. I don't know what happened to my strength. Oh, there it is. Did you see? <laughs> Did you see that guys? I was like, <laughs> pass off to the left. Thank you, honey. Oh Lord. All right. So we're gonna add our white wine. Oh yes. And you're gonna let this cook down just a little bit. Um, let me see, I like basmati rice, it has a lighter texture. Yes, Gwen, 
we go through some basmati rice over here. We do. Now, this white wine, you want to let this cook down so you don't smell any white wine. Okay, like uh, you don't smell like the alcohol from it. So just let it cook down. It gives it this extra flavor that is amazing. All right. So while I'm letting this kind of simmer on down, all right, I wanted to tell you about the peppers. So it's so funny. I went to the grocery store. All I could find were yellow, orange, red, every color except for what color? What do you think, ladies? What am I missing? Put it in the comments because you know what color I'm talking about. All right, did you guess it? What color? What color is missing? I said red, yellow, orange. What color could I not find? And it's literally the most common color there is. Come on, I know you know. It is the weirdest thing that has ever happened to me. <laughs> yes, green. I was like, green peppers are everywhere. I have never went to a store and never found a green pepper until yesterday. So let me start reading some articles to find out what happened to the green peppers, okay? I don't know what's going on. So it just, I, my, my whole pan looks like this colorful array of happiness of all these colors, except for the one color I was trying to find, which was green. Go figure. So what I wanted to tell you, because when it comes to these peppers, you have a hard time sometimes, like, I think when I first made this, very first time, right? <laughs> I do, wait, back it up. I do say, look, I was like, I do have grips. And you know they're in the drawer. You know what? <laughs> Don't you tell mommy. I had the grip. I had the grip, okay? But you know what? His, Mike's grip was stronger, so I was like, just go ahead and open it. <laughs> You saw me struggling. Pilates be kicking my butt. I'm, I'm going to stop going on Saturday because I got to get ready for today. I can't be up in here looking weak like that, you know? But, yeah, so when it comes, <laughs> when it comes to the peppers, right, um, my biggest thing was when I first made them was, like, how long do you cook it? Because when you put it in the oven, it can take forever for them to get tender. I don't know if you've ever ran into this problem. So I read this article Oh, I was reading like some other, you know, recipe and they said, put it in the microwave for about 12 minutes. And once you do that, it's nice and tender. And that's what it did. Look at that pudding. Look at that. So I took their advice. I put about a half a cup of water. So it's like you're steaming them before they go into the oven. So you never have to worry about an over, like an undercooked um, pepper. Okay. So I was very excited about that little tip. And, it, and it's there, all right? So don't worry. Okay, so this is nice and cooked down. Ooh. Wish you could see this. All right. So I did my garlic. Oh, all right. Now I'm going to add about my two cups of rice, all right? Woo, woo, woo. Just throw it on up in there. And I'm gonna cut this off because it's cooked down. The mixture is nice and tight. Um, I'm done. All right. Ooh, yes. And then you add your little salt and pepper to season and I mean to taste. All right, because you don't want the last thing you want is um to forget salt and pepper. Okay. So and pepper's here, and we in effect. Want you to? Okay, I, sorry. I'm from Queens, and when you know, I see, I say salt and pepper. It just came out. It is what it is. Okay, so we are done. All right, I'm I'm going to start scooping this into my peppers, getting them nice and stuffed. Yes, nothing peppers. All right. And I'm going to taste it because you know what? You got to make sure you put enough salt and pepper. Mmm. Mm -hmm. All right. So let me get, get a little 
in the little scooper. Where my scooper at? All right, this should be. All right, so I'm going to start stuffing my peppers. Oh, this is another twist I do. Hold on. I know I said about two cups of cheese, but I like to put the cheese in here, okay? So I do about a cup. That really wasn't a cup. Hold on, that was leftover. A leftover bag. One thing we never run shrimp on is cheese, okay? So I like to put some cheese, okay, about a cup into the actual mixture itself and then I fold it over because you got to like blend it. Hey, bro. Hi, then. All the way. That's my big bro in the house. Amish family representing, okay, still getting our vegetables fresh out the garden. <laughs> I wonder how many people really think that, you know, we're Amish. That is hilarious. All right. So, little family joke, you know. All right. So, um, the cheese, ooh, let me see if you can see this. Can you see that pudding? Do you see how, like, I'm, I'm pulling and the cheese is stringy, it's falling? That's what you want. That's how you know it's blended, okay? All right, so now I'm going to take my peppers because they're so pretty, all right? All these wonderful colors. Let me know if y'all find some green peppers because I don't, I don't know what happened. But, and I'm just fill it up. Ooh, the cheese just going all over the place. It's okay. It's okay. Ooh, Lord, yes. Yes. Get on up in there. Fill it on up. All right, and I'm going to do every... <laughs> you see all this cheese? Oh, my gosh. So good. Mix it on up. Come on. Come on, cheese. Yes. It's just melting away. I can't even take it. Ooh, yes. All right. So you're gonna stuff it like so. Now you don't want to put too much. Why? Because then your, your pepper might bust open. Okay? So don't get all crazy. Here you go trying to stuff a pepper with too much stuff in there. Don't do it. All right. Once it caps off, hold on, because that's what I'm doing. I'm doing the most right now. Hold on. All right. So once it caps off, I couldn't resist. I had to get the cheese. And then you stuff, you put the cheese right on the top, okay? So your pepper, look, look at that. Um, <clears throat> so your, your, um, okay, you see that? That's how you stuff the pepper. Stuff it good, all right? Stuff it real good. Okay, so yeah, we're going to do that. And then you're going to continue with each pepper, all right? Just keep stuffing, pouring, top it with the cheese, throw it in the oven. And this is what you're going to get put. It's now for the great reveal. I, I think that um, salt and pepper salt is going to be in my head all day. I'm just going to put it out there. Oh, my goodness. Now, I put it, you know, I get a, I always get a little, um, I get a paper plate, but I'm trying to get a little, trying to step it up for you. <laughs> it was so funny. One of my friends, um, Tiff, she said, she made the um, the wings that we made the other day, that Mama Phyllis made the other day. It's on, it's on an Epi page, so just go look at them. It says Mama Phyllis's, um, what are those wings called, babe? They're like the teriyaki. They fried, they fried garlic honey wings. And she asked for the recipe, so I ended up posting it, and she makes it, right? And then I said, I said, Tiff, they look so good. Why don't you put them in a group, post the picture? She said, girl, I can't post it on no paper plate. And I'm like, Oh, because you know, put it, I, I stay with paper plate. You know how I do. So, you know, I said, all right, maybe uh, other people were thinking the same. Like, Monty, come on. Don't you start plating on your paper plate. So here, look, put it. Here's my finished product. Getting a little fancy just for you today. Look at that. Yes. Put it. All right. And then. I don't really need a knife, honestly, I don't, okay? But I just want to show you when I cut it open. Oh, Lord Jesus. All right, I'm going to show you the inside of this puppy. Here we go. <laughs> All 
All right, look at that. Look at that pudding. All that good stuff just bursting out. Got the tomato, see the onions. You see all that? The cheese is golden. Oh, yes. You don't need it. See, look at that. Look at that. Boom. Right with the fork. Okay? You don't need nothing. Okay? Except to eat. Ooh, it's getting messy. It's okay. It's okay. Because it's going in my mouth. All right? And then you just eat it. Oh, my goodness. Mm, mm, mm. Woo. It's so good. And you really gonna feel like you're eating meat because these crumbles, the sausage, actually you're not gonna miss the meat at all. I promise. All right, so there you have it, puddings. We just made stuffed peppers. So easy, right? Are you gonna try it? Put it in the comments if you're gonna try it. You got to, just once. We want a little kick to it because of the spicy. The spicy sausage. Spicy. All right. Um, put in. I can't believe it. I'm done. So next week we are making um honey apple crisp in a skillet. So I think I call it skillet honey apple crisp. Anyway, it's just good. That's all you need to know. Okay, it's good. And yes, yes, yay! You try it, yay! All right, yes, please try it. Let me know what you think, and um, post those pics, ladies, because y'all holding out on me. I know that you are making some good stuff. Okay, so yes, next week it's going to be a little treat. So I figured, you know, this whole week we've been doing healthy stuff. It's still healthy. It's a lighter version, right? But um, that honey apple crisp is something about it. It's like those apples, and then you know they sit there, get a little syrupy, and then you got the level of sugar and granola, oats. I mean, oh my gosh! When I think about it, and it, and then the whole room just smells like apple goodness. All right. I know, I'll get carried away. I just love food. I'm thinking about next week. I'm like, yes! All right, so um, thank you for tuning in. I hope that you join us again next Sunday. February is coming up very fast. And guess who will be back in the kitchen? That's right, my sister. Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> All right, so Puddins, I wish you nothing but peace, joy, happiness. Have a marvelous week. Hopefully, this is the start to your, your best week ever. Um, and I love you. Talk to you soon. Bye.